Okay, I've drawn out the dimensions. This is off of Jack Reinhardt. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. YouTube. I think the name of the the uh, video was Child Step Stool uh, D I D Y I Child Folding Step Stool. But uh, these are the measurements that he had. <clears throat> so I'm going to try to get this cut out as accurate as I can, and I'll use the first one as a pattern for the second and uh, we'll go from there. The idea is going to be to cut these out the best you can identical. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I've got uh, one of the legs made for my little children's step stool. Uh, got it drawn out here. Now I'm gonna cut it out and uh, make two of these. Okay, here's the seat that I'm gonna cut out for the uh, <clears throat> child step stool, folding ch step stool chair. Well, I don't have it all glued together yet. Uh, this I just have setting it on here for tonight. I got to get a couple <clears throat> steel washers and I'm going to glue the pins in these legs. As you can see here, that'll come off. And then uh, pins have got to be glued into the to the uh, back rest, however, whatever you want to call it, footstep back rest. So I'm going to go ahead and glue them in yet tonight and then I'll finish it up tomorrow and then I got a bunch of sanding and uh, maybe a little bit of puttying to do but uh, all in all it's an easy little project I had a hard time following the uh, measurements for some reason on uh, on the site that I got this off of that I'll put in the link in the in my description but uh, and I rounded a few things I probably shouldn't have so <clears throat> okay I got the first tool done and when I did it and I didn't like the way it looked uh, I'll probably post a video of making it but anyway I was running back and forth in the house my house all the time trying to remember the dimensions and everything off of the video so what I did was I <coughs> went in and made a PowerPoint and I did screenshots so that I got the dimensions now so I don't have to be running back and forth all the time Here was my first try at, at uh, building this little child's uh, step stool and seat. And it was going along pretty good, I thought. And then uh, I got to thinking, well, I broke out one board, so I glued it. Uh, I put the big radius in there thinking... Uh, the gentleman had mentioned about pinching fingers, but uh, I made that too big of a radius. I was worried then that my niece would step off there and twist her ankle or something. So I kind of abandoned this one for now until I can get a chance to fix it up a little bit better. Uh, or I may just scrap it, chalk it up to experience. You notice when I picked that up how the the, um, the gentleman on the video said he put a little peg in his. So here's my final try. I've actually made several of these now. And uh, this is the one that's closest to uh, being a decent little stool. And uh, there's a the peg. That one touches. The other one I got a little bit low, but 
since it's not going to be bearing weight bearing or anything it'll be alright and uh, I'm going to slap a coat of purple paint on here because my great niece's favorite color is purple so we're going to stick some purple paint on it and I got a butterfly stencil and I'm going to put a couple butterflies on it here and there and so I'll get her painted and we'll see what it looks like well my Keith is going to bring her little one over and pick up this little stool we made for her. And it didn't turn out too bad finally. It took me a little longer than I thought to get it made. But the only thing that I did different than uh, the gentleman that I got in the plans from off of YouTube is I put this little peg, which he said to do, so that when you pick it up, the leg doesn't flop down. So she'll get along all right. 